that everybody was saying it's just an aesthetic problem. You know, it's just something you'd paint over. It's ugly, you know, ooh, yeah, mold. We don't like to look at it or something like that. It had really no connection between what was going on in the building and what was going on for their bodies. And that's when I was just like, oh my goodness, we, we have to address this mold thing. And I started to develop like a, a protocol, um, kind of a naturopathic protocol because every person is different. So you treat everybody individually. And then 10 years later, we had mold in our home. And um, it was all three floors of a nearly new home that they had plumbing issues when it was being built. Um, and it was, so it was almost every room except for one room in the entire house had a mold problem. And we didn't know it. It was one of those has, as mold does, it was very sneaky. Um, and it just sort of, you know, we just all started feeling a little run down. We just, and my kids, they were going into puberty. And so I thought maybe this is puberty and maybe I'm going to menopause and maybe, you know, we had all these things that we were excusing away. And when the flood revealed itself, it was like, oh my goodness, it's mold. Of course it's mold. Cause it's a great imitator. Yeah. Look different in every single one of us, even though I have identical twins, mm. they each had a different expression of the of the mold exposure, even with the same genetics, because they had different nutritional status, different things going on. And it was just like, oh my gosh, this is mold. And that's when I was just like, I have to write a book about this mm. because everybody ha can have the tools that it takes to get better. Sometimes you need medication, but you can do the fundamentals. You can get started on the treatment. And so that, that spurred the book. Yeah.